today we're here at Vancouver Lake River. The tide's going the right way, so hopefully we get some fish. Already got one fishing pole out, and we're bringing the next one. And we decided to show you guys what we use. She used a typical, pretty heavy sinker, probably two ounce. When the current's going swifter, you gotta use a bigger, but probably this size weight. But once it stops, you could use something less. Then we have a bead, swivel. Uh, the main test pound line is 12 pounds. You could do even more, but make sure your leaders are slightly less than your main line, so that way if you get snagged, you could always better lose a hook than your whole setup. And then we use two hooks, this size. And we attach just one corn to each hook and throw it out. Yeah, we just use just regular canned corn for this. So like that. cast it far or close depending on where it's biting usually you just have to feel around for it Looks like Mark got something. It's a good size one. What we're looking for. So this is the size we're going for. size man Got something. Oh, 
got something too. Where's the second one? Got one. Okay. I got something pretty good. Oh, I got a choice. Good one. Nice one. Okay guys, so we're packing up for today. 
We're done. Have some other plans for today also, so gotta start wrapping up. This is what we got. Here's some fish, and then we have also some. Hi guys, so we're here with uh, the fish that we caught today and we're going to show you guys how to clean them so it's good for cooking. So first of all we cut off all the fins, that, as close as possible, the closer the better. That. And carp have two barbs, one is on the bottom right here, so we just cut up as much as we can here. And one is on the top right here. The regular scissors can't take the barb. So we got the heavy duty plier cutters. Cut that off. The barb right They're barbs, so if you get one of those, it's going to be painful. And we move on to the cleaning part. Scales clean off pretty easily. Probably the stomach portion is the hardest to clean. The thing we have, it's pretty comfortable. I don't know where we got it, someone gave it to us, I think. next to the stomach area. Yeah, it's usually it's hardest to get out there. Make sure you get them all. Let's just slide off. Okay. Once we're done cleaning off the scales, Stick it in here. Drag it all the way down. And then this is the part you go about right here. And then you cut all the way down as far as you could go. And this is also a pretty tough part, so make sure you grab the cutters. Take a snip here. A snip, it's kind of like the collarbone of it, I guess. And you take a snip there. So right off. And then some mail. You just clean out all the insides that come out with one swoop. Air bladder. That's it, it's pretty much clean. Gotta get some minor details out. It's pretty much clean, you just rinse it with water. Okay. There you go. Perfect pan size. If you want to, you could also cut off the tails, but if you want to eat the tails, you could keep it on. Okay, so we decided to leave some of the fish alive. The ones we caught today. The ones we caught today. Yeah, these were last time's fish. Down over there. And then we got these three for today.